hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Zello crosslink and I'm going to be doing it on analog and on DMR because the radios I'm using, this one and the TYT MD380 which is off screen, do DMR and analog and um, I'm going to start off with analog so let's just go through it very simply um, with step-by-step -step instructions. So the first thing you need to do is set one radio on just a simple analog channel like so. So this is just a simplex channel that's it. Then I've got the TYT MD380 here which is also on a simplex channel just like the other radio. They're both on the same channel so if I key up on this radio it's going to talk into the other radio Hopefully you can hear that. And if I key up on this radio, oh, the volume's very loud on that one, but if I key up on this radio, it talks into that one. And then what you need to do is go on to the TYT MD380, go to radio settings, then scroll down to Vox. Make sure Vox is on set to 1 because 1 is the most sensitive and then you need to start connecting it to your computer which has Zello on. So over here we've got the cables that I'm going to plug into it. Now it looks like there's quite a few cables here but there's actually only two going to the computer. One of them's going into the microphone port and the other's coming out from the speaker port. And so the one going from the speaker port you take a normal 3.5 millimeter audio cable and you plug that you plug that into the larger of the two speaker connectors in here now you might need to cut off some of the um, plastic off the cable for to get it to fit but that's fine so that goes into there and then there's one hole left which is the smaller hole and this hole uses a 2.5 millimeter connector so what you need to do is get a 3.5 millimeter to 2.5 millimeter adapter and then put that on the end of your other 3.5 millimeter cable which is going to be plugged into the microphone port on the computer up here um, you can ignore that noise that's just my Zello on my phone going off and then you plug that into the other hole on the radio okay so that has keyed up the radio now you can just push the push to talk button and it will go off and now we need to switch over to the computer and do the setup there okay so here on the computer the first thing you need to do to get this set up is go down here tools options then go to Vox, make sure this box here is ticked to turn on Vox. Then you need to set the activation and deactivation thresholds. Now for the moment just leave these on the default values because this value will depend on your setup. Um, but you can adjust this later. If you find that your Zello is not triggering properly, it's not triggering when it hears audio from the radio then you can turn it this way to make it more sensitive and if you find that it's triggering too easily or it's triggering all the time when there's no audio then turn it back up this way to make it less sensitive so then you need to set the trigger time and relaxation time the trigger time measures how long Zello will wait after hearing some audio to transmit so this actually is used just so it doesn't transmit when there's only a really tiny amount of audio, a really short burst of audio. So I have it set to 500 milliseconds and this seems to work well. The relaxation time, 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. And um, this value here determines how long Zello will wait before stopping transmitting after it stops hearing any audio loud enough to trigger it according to the thresholds up here. So next you need to go to audio 
and you need to make sure that the audio recording device here is set to your microphone that is connected to your radio. Then there's the volume here which adjusts how loud that microphone is going to be and how loud the input from the radio is going to be. I recommend leaving this relatively low if you can and turning the radio's volume up a bit because that generally results in the least amount of noise. So once that's done go and click OK. Now you need to go and select your channel that you're going to be using. So just click on the channel so it's highlighted then go down here and click the lock button to make it locked onto this channel and what that does is it enables the Vox on this channel and so whenever Zello hears any audio from the radio it will start transmitting by itself onto the Zello channel and you should hear it over on your phone or whatever other device you're using so that's everything on the computer let's switch back to looking at the other radios okay so now we've got Zello set up on the computer we've got the one radio here which is all connected up we've got the other radio here ready to transmit onto the Zello channel or to the contact and we've got the phone here ready to receive and transmit back so let's try it I'm gonna key up on here hello test one two and there it came through on the phone and now I can key up on here hello test one two one two three test you have to wait for the other radio to stop transmitting then you can talk back hello test one two three one two three four five now let me just turn that up a little bit so you can hear it test one two three four five One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's how you do it in analog. And actually, since both of these radios can do DMR, it's very, very simple to get it to do the same thing in DMR. So if I bring this radio here, um, I'm going to put it on this channel here called Digital which is a DMR channel and then on this radio I'm going to go to the same channel on DMR so I've gone to the same channel on this radio now and the only thing that you might need to change is the volume on this radio here so you might need to adjust that to make it either louder or quieter depending on how it sounds so let's try it let's uh, talk into this one two three four five one two three four five one two three Let's try talking back. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so that was a little bit quiet on there. So I'm going to turn it up on here. Let's say about about there should do. Okay, and I'm going to try it again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay, as you can hear, that that sounded a lot better that time. And then back on here, I'm going to key up on here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, test. So let me show you how it looks on this radio when we actually start transmitting on Zello, because this radio is actually going to be transmitting then. So if I key up on my phone, hello, test. One, two, three, four, five. Now you could actually see the meter on the screen there which showed how loud the audio was if I do it again one two three one two three four five one two test now you do have to turn the computer's volume up quite loud otherwise you can't really trigger the Vox very easily on this radio because it's not all that sensitive but if you have some loud alert tones on the beginning and end of your transmission on Zello, which you can set in the settings, that does actually help to trigger the Vox on the radio. So that was it. That's how you can set up your own Zello crosslink onto analog or onto DMR.
and it doesn't require any expensive components either. All it requires is a very cheap 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter adapter, two 3.5 millimeter cables, and the radios to actually do it. And of course, a computer to use as the Zello client. So thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you are new to the channel, then you might want to consider subscribing because I do a lot of videos on little radio projects like this one here and on DMR and all that sort of stuff.